You know, Matt, it's ironic that you got a club sandwich. Why? Because you're not in the club. I am the club. Of people who four, order salads. I'm four frilly toothpicks. Because we got salads and you... Got frilly toothpicks. And you, okay, you got frilly toothpicks. By the way, hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday. I don't know if you can tell, but I got a bit of a trim around my ears and on my on the back of my neck. Not enough to warrant a haircut haiku, but I thought I would point it out in case it looked different. It's a little bit later now. Um, I already got a shower and I'm more or less ready for bed. Tomorrow we go to PAX and uh, we have to still pack for tomorrow. Um, I've been accomplishing a lot of stuff though and to be honest, I'm doing pretty well. If we go to sleep right now this second, we get four hours of sleep, which probably doesn't sound like a lot, but I've never, like, gotten sleep before a PAX event before. I, I just never sleep because I'm always up working. But I actually have everything done. Like, right now, everything is scheduled for through uh, Sunday. And that's fantastic. That's wonderful. Uh, Mallory's putting the finishing touches on this Mr. Saturn. And why are you doing that, Mel? This is Lindsay's. Lindsay made a poodle skirt to match Haley and I. Yeah, so if you guys remember... Um, Haley and Mal's poodle skirts that have below Mr. Saturn's on them. Uh, Lindsay is going to PAX this time, so all three of them are going to be dressed up as um, Mr. Saturn poodle skirt people. So I had to figure out to make Lindsay's different, and I don't have time to sew it because it took me two days to sew mine, so I'm hot gluing and you can't even tell, and it's really easy and awesome. It's really easy and awesome. Um, I, I realize up to this point I have not actually spoken of who's even going to PAX. And a bit of a shake-up because there was a lot of people that, that were unable to go this, this time around, which was very unfortunate because, um, for one, we didn't get to see them, but for two, the more people that drop out, the more expensive it becomes for everyone else. So that it's, it's kind of a bad situation, but we got through it, and we have six people going. Mallory, myself, obviously. Alex and Haley, because apparently we can't see enough of them. We've seen them like four times already this summer. Uh, Lindsay is going, and uh, Emmy. And some of you may not know Emmy. Emmy has been on the vlog before. Um, we know her through a few different channels, I guess. Um, I don't want to... She's related to another YouTuber, and I... For privacy's sake, I'll just stop it there, but she's related to another YouTuber, and I know her that way, and then I also know her because she um, was a mod on Steven Craft for a very, very long time, so uh, she's actually going to be staying with us uh, at the hotel and hanging out with us this weekend. So that is our group of six. Um, it's a little different. No Thomas, no Dan, no Taylor. Uh, it is certainly not going to be our normal group, but we're going to have a fun time, and it's, uh, it's exciting. Um, we also... We have some stuff planned, um, and also some stuff that's normally planned is not happening. And I know that's very vague, but basically what it amounts to is that we're probably going to have a lot of free time to just hang out and relax, and that's really cool. The only appointment we have is uh, we are going to be given a demonstration of The Division, which is an upcoming Ubisoft game. Ubisoft reached out to people that they had worked with in the past and said, we're going to be at PAX doing, you know, special sneak peeks at some of the games. If you want to try them, let us know. I'm interested in the division, so Mal and I have a little appointment to, uh, to have a gameplay session of the division um, while we're there, so that'll be exciting. Uh, a, quick, a few quick things before I forget and before we, we leave here. Um, see those up on the shelf? Let me get over here. That's Dragon Ball. Uh, we got all five seasons of Dragon Ball because we've, um, I think I mentioned it recently, but we started watching it. Uh, the first few episodes are free to watch on uh, Funimation's website, which is really cool. Uh, and I, we're fans of the dub. Or You didn't get to be a fan of the dub. I just told you you had to like the dub. Yeah, you did. Um, Mallory is someone who's more into watching the watching anime with subtitles, and I'm not against that. But I grew up watching Toonami, I'm familiar with the voices, and Dragon Ball is the same voices, so I'm like, I'm, I love the dub, and I think the dub is superior. Also, uh, Goku's Japanese voice, not for me, <laughs> just not my thing. Uh, so we, we started watching Dragon Ball, and um, I ordered the DVDs so we could continue watching them. I gave it, a, I, I, we watched a few 
to see if we wanted to continue watching the series, and Matt was into it, and I was like, all right, I've never seen the entire show, so we should do it. So we ordered the DVD sets. It was not all that expensive to get all of them. Like, that's a complete series. There's like 150 episodes, which is really cool. So we have them, and we're going to start watching them on DVD. Um, there's a few on, on YouTube, so if you're truly interested in seeing the show, you can catch a few episodes on YouTube also, um, at least until they figure they're on there and, like, take them down. But we got the DVDs just... Uh, just to, to have them. Um, also, I ordered this. Ooh. This is Pathfinder Pond's Bestiary Box. Um, we are starting D&D &D next month, which is very exciting. In fact, I set a date today. I've ch double checked with everyone. We're going to be playing on September 26th, so the very end of September. And uh, we're going to we're going to be doing it kind of two ways. We're going to be doing Theater of the Mind style, which is where you just as the Dungeon Master describe the scene. There's no maps or anything like that. You just talk about what's going on. Uh, and we're also going to be having some maps of certain areas. Uh, and when we do, we want to be able to tell like where the monsters and stuff are. And I, I looked into miniatures, and miniatures are very expensive. They're very, very expensive. For someone who is starting out who has nothing to try and get a hold of miniatures, it's ridiculously expensive. This is super affordable. And what these are is they're, they're cardboard. They're cardboard pieces that go in these little bases and then you stand them up and they're the same size as the miniatures but you know they're a lot less nice. But it doesn't matter because you get like 250 of them. That's awesome. And it was way cheaper. I got 250 of these cardboard things for the same price that I would have paid for about four or five miniatures, and I got 250, so we should be set forever, as far as I'm concerned. We are playing Dungeons & Dragons and not Pathfinder, but Dungeons & Dragons doesn't sell that kind of thing, and I didn't want to spend the money on miniatures, so I went with Pathfinder Pawns and, and got these instead. Yep. Anyway, um, that's it for today, and uh, it is technically Thursday right now. If, like I said, if we go to bed now, we get about four hours. Um, we still have to pack but it shouldn't take too much longer. And pack starts tomorrow. It's going to be a very fun time. Thanks for watching, and let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? That is absolutely freaking beautiful. Look how crisp that text is. That's amazing. The text is amazing. I cannot, at this point, use my yellows because I Oh, he's going to jump. He's going to jump. Where's he going to jump to? <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, he's going to jump again. Uh, I have four guys.